Hey, Creative Mom Camilla here from Creative Moms Decant. Today I'm going to show you how to add a signature to Cricut Design Space. So I have two signed items and we're going to add them to Cricut Design Space. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me. All right, so we're going to lay this item flat and we are going to position our uh, camera. I just use my cell phone camera. So whichever one and we just come in here and get the closest cropped picture of just the signature we can get. So like this one, you may be getting a few words in there and you may end up using your cropping tools on your phone to crop out the edges of a photo. So once it's entered, then we're just going to go ahead and go here and open up Cricut Design Space. So I am loading it in my phone by choosing upload and you can do the same thing on your computer if you took the camp, took a picture with the camera and put it on your computer and then you're going to want to choose to remove the background. Cricut Design Space does a 50-50 job here on signatures in my opinion. So that means how much work are we going to have to do after it does its thing. So I'm going to let this load and I'll show you what we've got to do. So you're going to want to come down here and use the background remover tool to get rid of these little areas. So when you zoomed in, you could see where I got there. So I'm going to grab my background remover tool. I did have to shrink it down, so I use the undo. And I'm just going to remove the areas that it didn't remove. So inside my O, I've got another one. Here's a piece here. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to remove all the pieces that I need to remove. I could have fixed my husband's E at this point but I didn't want to. It, it's his E. So um, even though he wrote it twice, I loved it. And then you just save it as whatever name you want and you have it in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to cut a few different sizes here and I'll show you kind of what works best. And it does. It depends on the signature. So I'm going to send this to my Cricut Explorer and you can do it on or off a mat. I am going to choose to send it off a mat and just show you exactly how easy it is. With an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection. All right, so it's ready for me, but definitely on a project like this, you want to check your blade, and my blade was dirty today. So I am going to clean up that blade. I just use my fingers, maybe a little rubbing alcohol if I have to. All right, so I'm loading, I'm loading my mat, and we're going to push go, and we're going to see how this does. So I'm doing matless again, but if you are doing it on a mat, you can use the washi setting. So when you choose your vinyl, like I chose premium vinyl, you're going to choose the washi setting. So let's see how these tiny signature lines do. Matless with our Cricut Explorer 3. Alright, let's get this weeded and see how these are turning out and what size we like. And that's how you add a signature using Cricut Design Space. It's super easy, whether it's a piece of paper like this one or a signature like this one from a card. It's super, super easy. About one inch seemed to be great. Thanks for watching. Have a joyful day. Bye. With an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection.